Hello and welcome to The Update. I'm Michelle Stevenson. The PM admits there can't be a one-size-fits-all approach to working from home, but believes working remotely can improve productivity. The Fair Work Commission is examining the issue. Anthony Albanese says employers and employees would need to work through any issues that may arise. I think what we need to do is to look for win-win. Uh, we need to look uh, where it's appropriate, uh, where it boosts productivity. While Liberal leader Peter Dutton says he has no problem with flexible work arrangements, but they need to be sensible. We have to be careful that the Albanese government just doesn't side with the union on every occasion because all that happens is if the price of wages uh, go up too dramatically in an inflationary environment, uh, you'll end up with much higher prices for consumers. The Greens maintain some property developers are constraining housing supply, contributing the crisis in the sector. The minor party claims there are at least one million properties which are either yet to be built or sitting idle. The Defence Force has announced an independent inquiry into that deadly Taipan helicopter crash. The aircraft ditched into water off the Queensland coast during a training exercise last year, killing four defence personnel. Australia has since retired its fleet in the wake of the crash. A Sydney man accused of murdering a family of three has been formally refused bail after a bedside court hearing. The 49-year-old faces three murder charges following the death of a mother and her son in North Parramatta and the father at a home in Borkham Hills. And the personal info of close to a quarter of a million Aussies has been breached. Telco Tangerine is the latest company to be caught up in a cyber attack. Sport and Entertainment are next. To sport, an Aussie surfer Molly Picklam is celebrating success at the Sunset Pro in Hawaii, propelling her to number one in the world. Fellow Aussie Jack Robinson won the men's event. And supercars teams are setting up at Mount Panorama, preparing for this weekend's season opener at the Bathurst 500. In your entertainment news now, and Beyonce has become the first black woman to top the Billboard's Hot Country Songs chart. Texas Hold'em from her upcoming album, also reaching number two on the Billboard's Hot 100. Tom Cruise has reportedly called time on his relationship with his Russian socialite girlfriend just days after meeting her kids. The iconic actor had apparently been dating the 36-year-old since December, but are apparently keeping things friendly because they live in the same London apartment block. And it seems the Paps just can't get enough of the Taylor Travis romance. The NFL star was photographed through the window of the penthouse the couple are actually staying in at Sydney's Crown Casino. That's the latest from the Nova Podcast News team. We'll have another episode of the update for you tomorrow. I'm Michelle Stevenson.